if you choose to use new cotter pins on the spindle nut, chances are you're not going to be able to find the same type that you take off. You'll just find this typical style. You can bend them a little bit apart, take a couple measurements, mark them with magic marker, and knock off the ends. And then pinch them back together to slide them in. Okay, a tip that I completely forgot about. Nine out of ten times I remember, but every now and then I forget. <clears throat> when you put the spindle on, okay, try to clock it so that your cotter pin's not lined up with the lug nut post. Because that makes it a little bit snug. And if this thing gets rusted, it's going to be that much more fun to get out. It's not horrible. It's not a deal breaker. But if this was orientated like this as opposed to like that, it just makes life easier. And that's literally something where you can clock the hole and then press your, your hub on. And that's also something I probably didn't mention on the ball joints. When you're putting your castle nuts on your ball joints, you want to do the same thing. Before you press that joint into the knuckle, make sure you turn that thing. You know, you can use a cotter pin, slide it through and turn it, or like a little pick tool or an awl. But it just makes life easier to orientate those holes ahead of time. But otherwise, I'm in pretty good shape. You want to make sure your longer leg is to the outside so you can bend it out. And your shorter leg to the inside. You don't want to bend two legs because then when you straighten them out, that's two kinks that you're going to have to pull out. I actually have a video on how to properly install a cotter pin. It's become kind of controversial because most people do it wrong. And people don't want to think that after 20 years of doing it wrong, they're doing it wrong. But this is actually one of the things that proves it. Because when you see the way this one's designed, it just really makes sense. But you'll notice on all cotter pins, there's a little notch for you to be able to take your finger and bend one leg, not two. But otherwise, you just kind of bend it into place and then give it a nice little tap, and it's a done deal. Okay, I'm on the other side here. I decided to give you a treat. <clears throat> I didn't trim this one down. Well, I trimmed two down, and then I said, you know what, let's show them how a dumb, retarded so that the next guy has that rusty disaster. See that shit? Now you got all those different articulation bends in the legs and don't do it that way, man. There is absolutely no strength in anything that protrudes out. The strength is having both in the crossbar so that this doesn't spin, so that the nut can't back off, that's it. That's it. But you'd be amazed. Read my comments on my how to install a cotter pin video. These f are just, you know, it's like when you're faced to have to accept a reality that doesn't align with the reality that you'd like it to align with, sometimes you just go into a state of denial. Okay. See, now I had to use my long nose. Try to straighten that shit out, and it's all You're never going to get that out with pliers. You're going to have to use vice grips, snip it on the loop, and lightly tap it out. And this one's not too rusty, so it won't be horrible. But also notice that by doing it the retarded way, it's harder to get your vice grips on there. You want it turned like I showed you originally. Because then it's even easier to get the vice grips on there that you're going to have to pound off. Now, fortunately, because I just put mine in, it's wobbly, okay? But you're going to have some that are rusted in, some that just fit really snug that you can't turn. But with it turned sideways, not only can I grip the head easier, but now when I go to tap it out, it'll tap out in a friendly manner. Friendly. And look at that, all mangled up. I wouldn't even want to reuse that. 
I'm telling you, do it the way I showed you and then take it out. Makes for a better day. And put in correctly. So there you go. Friendly. It's friendly, fuckers. Cotter pins with benefits. And it looks a hell of a lot better, too. And it's a lot easier to grab out. And a lot less shit to straighten. Literally, when you bend that long leg back and you start pulling, it's going to straighten out against that other one that's acting as a straight edge. You'll love it.